The 2008 Antennas are proudly brought to you by Victoria, the place to be. The City of Melbourne, Shannon's and C31. Hi and welcome to the 2008 Antenna Awards. I'm Sam Tool, and tonight we're here to showcase the best we have in community television. Are you excited about doing 20-something this year? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, like it was It's been cool. something that we've been working on for a really long time and um, to have it finally on air is awesome. Just support generally the, the awards and Channel 31, which is great and should be alive forever. Um, and yeah, just going to have a good time. Really. I'm excited about it. We applied for seven things and got one. I love those odds. It's a good hit rate. Funny if you wins, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> Flying down from Sydney, red carpet event. Who could ask for more? and welcome to the 2008 Antenna Awards here at the BMW Edge Auditorium in Melbourne's excitingly geometric Federation Square. First, we would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which this event is taking place, the people of the Kulin Nation of Victoria. Ta! Now strap yourselves in for the musical delights of the Pearly Shells. Jim and the Pearly Shells.
for them. All right, everybody, it's time to make good with the applause and welcome our very first presenters. It's Ashley Flanders and Declan Green. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. And welcome to the 2008 Antenna Awards. Tonight we celebrate community. We celebrate diversity. And we remember where it all began. That one man who had a brave dream of buying a fish tank and filming it. Yes, <laughs> but the dream fast became a nightmare when the fish were too cocky and they had to be replaced with the next best thing. Humans? Humans. Mm. We celebrate you, humans, tonight. And the nominees for best comedy program are... Best Comedy Program, Planet Nerd. We control the weather so you don't have to. Barnaby Flowers Bumper Bonanza. Maybe you should eat less fast. 20 something. Pick higher. I want you to visualize me as your father. The Bazura Project. What happened to the Lee Zachariah I met at the beach? Studio 4. We'll have fun for sure. Down at Studio 4! And the winner is... The Bazura Project. And that's it for this week. On next week's show... Are you, you going to tell them what's on? Now I'm just pausing for dramatic effect. You know, it gives more weight to what I'm about to say. You know, it's an actor thing. I wouldn't expect it to do that. The Macquarie English Dictionary defines a ward as a child or minor under the legal guardianship of the state. And that really sums up how we feel tonight. Thank you. And now we move on to best interview program. You know, Ashley, it's a lot harder to do a good interview than it looks. <laughs> no, 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 it's actually true. Ready? Ready? Watch this. How are you, Ashley? Fine. What did you do today? Um, well, I woke As up. you can see, human beings are inherently boring creatures. And tonight we celebrate those interviewers who managed to make people seem somewhat more interesting than they actually are. And the nominations for Best Interview Program are... Best Interview Show. The MS Show. Maybe you want to find people tomorrow? Absolutely. In Gala Part 1 and 2. The majority of young people are very interested in the environment and the future. A life in crime. Spent the night running around taking cars and driving around in them. The shtick. We're going to fuel the half hour so well, you'll wish we were on for an hour. Adelaide Vibe. Does that put a lot of pressure on you when you're performing? And the winner is... Ngala part one and two! We're doing certificate one in conservation of land management. Some people head into horticulture, others decide that they want to become a mechanic. And we have found that the majority of young people are very interested in the environment and the future. Thank you very much um, to all the people in the Bourne Road Nursery Project, all the staff and volunteers at Access 31, and Rob McGlynn and all at Creating Communities. Thank you. <laughs> well done, our winners there, and thank you, Ashley and Declan. Now, please welcome our next incredibly cool and stylish presenters. It's Namilla Benson from Viva Melbourne and Gary Goldsmith from the Nunga Lounge. Gary, absolutely fantastic to be here for the 2008 uh, Antenna Awards. And can I say, one of the most fantastic things about Channel 31 is the diversity that you get on any given night of the week. It is. There's a lot of diversity, and I guess that's what the first award tonight they were about to announce. And uh, I guess some of the shows that you enjoy about uh, Channel well, I 31. Love, yeah, the Latin dancing one, there's the book show, there's a film show, there's a hearing impaired show. Well, my show is all about the fishing, the cars, and the bird watching, that's for sure. Oh, you're such a bloke. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so uh, let's announce the nominations for the best lifestyle program on Channel 31. Best lifestyle program. Making the switch. 
you're reaping the benefits of reduced energy bills. Let's go bird watching. A larger pair will give us a lot more light and a lot more colour. Kids Live. A show dedicated to providing you with useful information on raising your kids. Living on the coast. Tell us, what do you love about the Shoalhaven River? Latin Dance Alive. Keep going. One, two, three. And the winner is... Making the switch. It's consuming electricity, it's consuming resources, and it's costing you money. These are amazing. We are making the switch. This mountain will disappear today. By tonight, we will have emptied this shed. sponsors and our amazing team. Thank I you. I think it says a lot that um, a sustainability program won Best Lifestyle and I think that says a lot about what we want from TV at the moment. So thank you. Yay. <laughs> well as you know Channel 31 is all about grassroots and this next award is all about grassroots television, that's right. And it's really beautiful that with Channel 31 it's always about different communities and people absolutely representing what they're about and where they've come from. Yeah, I guess so. So we'll uh, announce the nominees for the Best Indigenous Award. Best Indigenous Program. Totally schooled. So there you have it. Our first journey through the Kimberleys. Nunga Lounge. One of those outcomes of getting people into employment. Yeah. Urban chess pieces. Yagan was declared a criminal and a reward offered. Nunga Danju. Wanju Wanju. Nidja Ngala Nyunga TV show. The Mandra Footy Show. Because they didn't think we were tough until this bloke came along. Okay, and the winner for the best Indigenous program is. Oh, big congratulations to Nunga Danju. Well done. This is a program about my mob, the Nyungar community, and Danju is our word for gathering. Nyungar language was once spoken across the region in more than 10 different dialects, but over time it's become discouraged, forbidden, and almost forgotten. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to accept this award uh, on behalf of a remarkable group of people. Um, these four programs were made by uh, students at Curtin University of Technology in Perth. Um, I have to acknowledge my very talented uh, co-executive producer, Michelle Johnston, the Centre for Aboriginal Studies at Curtin for their invaluable support, uh, our wonderful host, Dennis Simmons, uh, and of course the Noongar community who uh, gave us permission to tell their stories and to meet some of their most inspirational people. Thank you. Well done there, and thanks to Miller and Gary. No introduction needed for our next presenters. Oh, except it's in my contract. From the C31 Melbourne sitcom 20-something, it's Jess Harris. And from No Limits, it's the limitless Steve Hurd. Hey. <laughs> Hi, audience type dudes and TV watchers. How are you out there? Good, you're good? Hello. Great. <laughs> um, Steve and I are here to present the award for Best Sports Program. And can I, well, before we get into that, I just wanted to say how absolutely gorgeous you're looking tonight, Jesse. Oh, thanks, Steve. They don't believe me. They don't believe that I think that, but oh, I do. No. They've got eyes they can see. I That's look amazing. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's very kind of you, Steve, and it's very true. Oh, I yes. put in a lot of effort tonight. <laughs> I actually thought that I was invited to the Logies, but clearly it's not. Absolutely. Actually, I actually thought that too. You know, I thought I could smell Eddie Maguire. Yeah. But it was actually an AFL journalist going through urine samples from AFL players. <laughs> no, we're not at the Logie, Steve. No, I no, that's... no. I've gathered that now. That's it. Well, um, the nominees for Best Sports Program are... Best Sports Program. ALHL Ice Hockey. Shot for the point saved by Kangaranta. Huge action already. This is intense. The Hockey Show. She, she tries to spin around and spank the ball into the back of her own net. Ten pin bowling. The inside of his left foot over the board. On the water. Get set to get wet on the water. The Manbrook Footy Show. I'm actually going to tip uh, Brisbane to win this game. 
Okay, and the winner is... Do you want to read it, Steve? Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll braille read it. You, you yeah. tell them. <laughs> the... Oh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> the Mung... Oh, I'm going to... The Footy Show? <laughs> the Man Group Footy Show. <laughs> hey! But I reckon there'll be 80,000 there this week, though. They play good footy at the Telstra Dome and then they got more to play for. My pick would have to be my dad's team. Come on, the Lions. Well, well, thank you everyone. And on behalf of Grand Hanson and Toombuck Indigenous Productions, we'd like to thank everyone that uh, voted for us, as well as our loyal um, panel and crew. And um, special thanks to NITV, Channel 31, and also a very special thanks to the AFL for supporting our show. So thank you. And to all the viewers out there. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got um, best live or outside broadcast program. Now, have you seen the uh, um, awards that we've got this year, Steve? Uh, yes, I have seen them and I've felt them too and they're pretty vicious. They're very vicious. I think if they got in a uh, fight with the Logie in kind of a fight club underground style to the death fight, yeah. it probably would win. Look, Jess, even sighted Freddie could feel that. Yes. <laughs> but the nominations for the nominations for best outside or live yes. broadcast are... Best live or outside broadcast. Swap along. That's a rhetorical question because you're on the other side of the television. No but limits. I've lost years There's of my life just thing. from viewing that tape. Viva Melbourne. Andrea, do men belly dance? The Breakfast Show. We were just assuming the James Brayshaw position. Wake Up WA. People are going to wake up and turn on their telly and think, oh my goodness, it's Wednesday, I've missed two days' work. Best live or outside broadcast, I can read this one, The Breakfast Show. Yeah. <laughs> Check out those guns. <laughs> we look like we came from the West. Yeah. Yeah. Look, turn over to us. I love that Axl Rose dance. Oh. He does the... <laughs> 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 Look, it's Um, oh, this is wicked, because if I put this on the roof, now I might get Channel 31, yeah? <laughs> That's all right. Um, Stephen Conroy already told me apparently we're going digital. Let's all celebrate. Um, thank you so much for this. Thanks to Channel 31 Melbourne for putting up with my moods last year. Thanks for their support. And also, thanks for having us here tonight, because this is a great award show. Um, for this award specifically, I've got to thank this woman, Alison Cairns, and all our volunteer cast and crew. And um, thanks for watching the show. It was a pleasure to make. Back to the 2008 Antenna Awards. And for those keeping score, it's time to welcome our fourth set of presenters. From Making the Switch, it's Lisa Corduff, and from Kids Life, it's Mahalia Simpson. Since television began in Australia in 1956, it's been a cyclic medium. Quiz shows, comedy shows, trivia shows, they come and go. Absolutely, but more recently it's been reality shows, dancing shows and people wanting to lose weight publicly. <laughs> but ever since 1956, there has been one constant on Australian TV. Absolutely, and that's news and current affairs. It's always been around and it's always going to be around, keeping us informed. And in 2008, community TV can hold its head up high against the big guns. And tonight, we celebrate their contribution. Absolutely. And the nominees for Best News and Current Affairs Program are... Best News or Current Affairs Program. Tea Tree Gully TV, Naturally Better. I pretty much volunteer their time to make the event run smoothly. SKA Story. They say that diplomats are people who think twice before saying nothing. State Question Time. There are 21,000 people waiting to see a surgical specialist. The Union Show. Unions have fought so hard for and won. 
Wake Up WA. So we're going to have a, a total lunar eclipse. And the winner is... Wake, Wake up, up WA. WA. Internal investigators are examining the death of a 29-year-old man. What's the luxury car tax? Well, it's, it's the only luxury tax that we have in Australia. So we're going to have a, a total lunar eclipse. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I'd like to thank our uh, cast and crew who bring a lot of uh, talent and energy to, to the show. They work tirelessly. They give up a lot of their spare time. Most of them are volunteers, and they do a fantastic effort, uh, including my fellow executive producer, who does uh, most of the work. I just sort of revel in the glory. Um, also, of course, to Access 31, uh, to Andrew and Justine, and uh, particularly to uh, Jerry Gannon, who's given up his spare time as well uh, to help us with the casting. Uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, IONET for helping us realise our dream this year uh, to broadcast the show uh, live on the internet every day, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, and I hope that more uh, community TV producers will embrace the internet uh, as a way of getting their show out there to a, to a broad audience. So uh, thank you very much. A fine win there. And thank you, Mahalia and Lisa. And now, if this awards ceremony is rock and don't bother knocking, well, it's about to rock good and hard. Welcome to the podium, Asylum TV's Nicole Christine and the funktastic Nikki Bomber. Oh, my God, it's Nikki Bomber. Three-time guest on Asylum. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And it's Nicole Christine, three times... Three times, three times a lady. Oh, well, I don't know about that, but I like that. You know, one thing I do know, you'll be playing later on. What can we expect from you? Well, yeah, we're doing the orchestra thing on stage. There's about 20 people in the orchestra and a conductor that can't read music, so I'm thinking chaos. Great. Um, Expect the unexpected. Yeah. One thing's for sure, we are not going to be needing any tomatoes out of Vasily's garden to throw at you. Well, we probably do need because we've run out of food in the green room, so tomatoes, cucumbers, anything you want to throw, we're there. We're hungry. More food so, for the green room. Please. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> we should probably uh, do the... Uh, we could, or we could just stand here and talk all night. No, I think we should. You're great company. Uh, thanks. But we should, uh, the nominees for the Best Music Program are... Best music program, Tea Sessions. This song is huge, just like an ocean line. Asylum. You're watching Asylum. We're in the nut house, we're in an asylum. Pinoy Music Lounge. Okay, everyone, it's that time of the week. I know you're excited. Songwriters across Australia. Involved in music all of my life, done everything from television to theatre. Access All Areas TV. Yeah. Where else is a good place for music here? Too? Definitely the Shire. <laughs> and the winner is... Tea Sessions. This episode presents the Kill Devil Hills. Uh, this is an extremely notorious, hairy, wild, unpredictable and uh, rambunctious set of gentlemen. Um, thank you all. I'm accepting this on behalf of Bill Atkinson and all the staff and students at Central TAFE, Graham, all at RTRFM and Access 31 Productions. Thanks a lot. We have more of these beauties to give away. Apparently the... Um... Best theme music composition. And the nominees are... Best theme music composition. Play cool. Where do you go to dance and sing? Play cool, play cool, play cool. Penguin TV. And a jumping jelly bean or two. Room to grow. And you'll see, yes you'll see, there's room to grow. Wake life. You have to be right there. No limits. And the winner is Penguin TV. Penguin TV, congratulations. And listen quietly. You're gonna love everything you see here on Penguin TV. Well, thank you, 
very much for that, Nikki and Nicole. Well done, our winner. And now please put your hands together for our next presenter from C31 Melbourne's Teeny Weeny Greenies. It's Madison McSweeney. Wow, who wrote this script, Dr. Zeus? Before I present this next award, I'd like everyone to know that this is the first time an Antenna Award has been presented by someone younger than community television itself. <laughs> when I was born... <laughs> When I was born, community television was in nappies. When I learned to walk, community television was still in nappies. But now, after 15 years of broadcast, community television is growing up. Let's see the nominees for Young Persons Program. Best Young Persons Program. Fusion Latina. And I'll be taking you behind the scenes of the Johnson Street Fiesta. Class TV. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Totally school. The for Ashfield today will be dark, cloudy like my soul. Hit TV. It's been brought to you almost live, but it is exclusive. Mini Monkey. Cars hurt little children. And the winner is... Class TV. Sometimes I mistake the pantry for the toilet. Oh my god, I'm kidding. You sound cute. Cars, TV, Saturday morning, be day. First off, we'd like to congratulate the other nominees and thank the audience and everyone for showing up today to support community television. Uh, I'd also like to thank our teachers Colin Thompson and Paul Van Eden, or Tomo and Van, e Van Demon as we like to call them, and all the other members of Class TV. And I'd like to thank Channel 31 for giving us this great opportunity to be broadcasted live. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Because I am the youngest presenter ever, I get to announce two awards. The second award is for Best Sound. Let's see the nominees. Best Sound. The Bazura Project. We had Hallowell's Film Guide, Variety, The Citizen Kane Screenplay. The Gas Coin Dash. Even this mini course will test the limits of competitors and their machines. The Union Show. To come back to Melbourne and do a plumbing apprenticeship. Barnaby Flowers. Regardless of what you think you said, it still hurt my feeling. Mystical Guides. Feel the imprint of, of psychic energy. And the winner is... The Gascone Dash. Simply called the Dash by locals, it's one of the longest and most punishing off-road desert races in Australia. Over 100 competing motorbikes, quads, custom buggies and 4x4s will tackle over 500 kilometres of WA's most unforgiving landscape. Well, after five years of being nominated for this category, Michael, we finally won. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic to actually again give something that's a, a craft award. I know we've won a, a couple of these because we, we love coming to the antennas and being part of it. Um, and actually, this is the first time we've won a craft award, so it's um, kind of a bit of a special one. And we'd like to say a uh, you know, big thanks to uh, uh, all the uh, Channel 31s throughout Australia, particularly Access 31 in Perth. And our crew, Michelle Lord, Neil Brocklebank, David Larson, and everybody up at the Gascoigne, Paul Kelly and Trevor Cook and Jennifer Pete. It was a definite uh, experience sort of uh, living in the desert, trying to film a, one of the biggest desert off-road races in Australia, particularly for a couple of uh, you know, city folk like ourselves. So again, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, winners. Thanks, Madison. And now, oh, good, we've got an act on next. I love the name of this next act. They're called Swing Thing. They swing in a few different ways. They swing in a laws of physics pendulum-like way and in a kind of 60s shagadelic room key in the middle of the room in a lucky dip kind of way. Let's see Swing Thing.
it's time for our next presenters. We've got George Lakakis, he's head honcho of the Multicultural Commission and from Asian Community TV. Please welcome Ting Cheng. Hi. So George, coming from the Victorian Multicultural Commission, our theme tonight of community and diversity must mean something special to you. It means a great deal to me and for the whole of the Victorian community. I had some international reporters come from Europe and tell me today that what we do in Victoria between community and our cultural diversity and how we look after one another is simply a world first. It doesn't happen anywhere else. And Channel 31 does a great job in promoting that fusion between our great community here in Victoria and our great cultural diversity. We're so proud of it. That is fantastic to hear. Now down to business. The nominees for the Best Culturally and Linguistically Diverse Program are... Best Culturally and Linguistically Diverse Program, Fever Melbourne. That was mesmerising on about three levels. Hello Australia. Signpost. Hi, I'm Caroline. It's good to see you again. Fusion Latina. And I'm here on Johnson Street, the heart of Hispanic happenings right here in Melbourne. Sri Lanka Morning Show. Keeping you up to date with all the upcoming events in Melbourne. And the winners are signposts. These two sets of chromosomes combined to create me. So if my mother was ugly, unfortunately, I would be ugly too. It proved to be a fantastic night, full of laughter. Here's a peek at what happened. Hello, and thank you very much. I want to thank everybody for this award. First of all, I'd like to thank the crew and volunteers for their work in Signpost. Secondly, I'd like to thank the sponsors, um, a number of organisations who were the sponsors, and Community TV all community TV throughout Australia. Thank you. And there's more. Plus, I just wanted to say a thank you very much to everybody here. A nice win there. Well, the production line of presenters keeps rolling on. It's Meredith Chipperton from C31's Room to Grow, and from Level 3, it's Jamie McDonald. I didn't even mention Big Brother. Oh, bring it over this side. So, Jamie, you were actually on Big Brother, weren't you? Yes, yeah, 11 weeks of fun, yeah. Yeah, pretty diverse character here. I was a diverse character. I think, I think I'm what Big Brother considers diverse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were so diverse that you actually cried on oh, national television. Oh, all right, all right. Don't bring this up. Jeez, like... <laughs> they could have edited that bit. Just okay, that Jamie, little Jamie, bit. Relax. It's OK, it's OK, it's OK. There are a lot of really good editors in the house. Embarrassing. Now, the nominees for Best Editing are... Best Editing. The Bazura Project. And that's all the week we have for you this time. Studio 4. They stink like poopers. Living on the coast. But all of that walking and talking has tired me out and made me very hungry. Making the switch. First stop for your PET bottle is the materials recovery facility. Flick tease. He has like an empire of hot sauce. And the award goes to Making the Switch. They're starting to compost paper cups now. Plasma TVs. How can something so good be so bad? They are making the switch. Thank you very much. That's a very exciting moment. Uh, thank you to Lisa, lovely Lisa, Nadia, Lovely Phil. And uh, my fellow editor, Chris Pollard, who's over in India at the moment. Lovely work. Thank you. <laughs> Meredith, thanks for that hug. It actually made me feel a lot better. Oh, look, it's, <laughs> it's fine. really nice. It's fine. Look, look, you know, if it's any consolation, you know, level three kicks ass over Big Brother. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, I like to think so. Yeah. Good days. <laughs> hey, there's some level three love here. This is awesome. But you host uh, Room to Grow, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, what's Room to Grow about? Is that about obesity or...? 
Uh, well, no. Uh, I'm sure some mothers may feel like that, but no, it's actually a parenting program. It's, it's about how to deal or not deal at times with having a newborn and a baby and a toddler. Oh, okay, show about how to make babies. I think I've seen no, something no, no, instructional. No, no, not, not, not to make babies. That's more your art house style show. Okay, well, yeah. moving on to that, the nominees for best arts program are... Arts program, The Green Room. We are here to support all community theatre groups. Blurb. This is a book show, so we are, after all, quite interested in books. Painting with John. The last thing you need to do is to write your name. The Bazura Project. It's not so much that it's bad, it's that it's very bad. Popcorn. We pretend we know what we're talking about, but we really have no idea. And, and it's harmless, it's fun. Okay, and the winner for best arts program is, as I tear open this complicated envelope, the Bazira Project! Most movies are shot and projected on 35mm film. And at the going rate of 24 frames a second, that's about 45 centimetres of film per second. So for a two hour movie, that's about 3.3 kilometres. That's enough film to reach the moon, if you started here. Thank you. Due to the current human rights abuses in, oh sorry, sorry, not human rights abuses, during, due to the digital broadcasting license abuses currently occurring in Australia. I've got a lot more. <laughs> the, Bazura check, the, no, the Bazura Project would like to respectfully decline this very generous award. Cool. However, as the members of the Bazura Project are extremely vain, petty, desperate for acceptance and only superficially interested in worthy causes in order to score some loose hippie chicks, we will very happily accept this award and ask you to meet us later in the lobby at the Western. Uh, and if you don't get this reference, you really should be watching our show. Hola, namaste, and welcome back to the 2008 Antenna Awards. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you are, it's time to get excited because we've got colour and movement. It's time for Folk Waves Bollywood Dance.
to present our next awards. We've got Hassini Alwis from the Sri Lankan Morning Show and he's the Minister for Community Development. He's the Minister for Energy and Resources. He's the Honourable, the very dapper Peter Batchelor. He's taken, sorry ladies. The Victorian Government is proud to sponsor this next award. It's the program that best supports new and emerging communities. Communities are a valued part of our society here in Victoria. We value multiculturalism, we value diversity, and we value community television because it supports these similar sorts of values. And that's why we're very pleased to be here tonight in supporting this program on your community channel that best supports new and emerging communities. Hassini. On behalf of everyone here tonight, I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank Mr Batchelor and the Victorian Government for their ongoing support of community television. Now, on to more important things. The nominations for the best program that supports the news and emerging communities are... Program that supports new and emerging communities. Sri Lanka Morning Show. Keeping you up to date about all the upcoming Sri Lankan events. Talent Pool. SKA Story. The fighting was pretty much one-sided. VNTV. Quý khán giả đang theo dõi chương trình VNTV. Pinoy TV. Pinoy Trivia. From a fantastic field of nominations, I'm proud to announce that the best program that supports new and emerging communities is the Sri Lankan Morning Show. Good morning. First the news headlines in English. What we got is a prawn curry with some oyster mushroom. We have a song by popular Sri Lankan artist Sunil Edrisinger. Next, we have our bulletin board keeping you up to date with all the upcoming events in Melbourne. All right, this is for my members. Uh, I want to thank all the, my team members and um, all the sponsors and Swinburne University, especially Dr. Paul Muhlenberg and Channel 31. <laughs> thank you. I take it's an honor for, for the Sri Lankan community to uh, get this award. We have been coming here for a fair few years. And finally, we, it's, we got an award. And uh, I must thank the Sri Lankan community for watching our program. In total, we produce four shows for Channel 31. So this is the man be beside me who is the cameraman, editor, producer. He does it all. Thank you, Mr. Bachelor. Thanks, Hassini. And now, 5 o'clock in the afternoon on C31, there's a youth program, live music, interviews, chat, cool hair, slang terms that I can't understand. You'll loll, you'll ruffle. Please welcome two of the crew from 1700. It's Mick and Mez. <laughs> Colonel Mez, Operation Get a TV Show on Channel 31 has failed. Again. No. I mean, I thought our cooking show idea, Ready, Steady, Boom. You mean Ready, Steady, Boom, of course. Affirmative. I thought that was a great idea. Well, you know what it is, General Mick? What is it? It's those terrible Channel 31 cameramen we have. Oh, I know. I mean, you reckon with all the money that Channel 31 has, they're able to be able to afford some good camera operators. Affirmative, General. But you know what? They're all the same at Channel 31, you know? Glug, glug. <laughs> I think we're meant to be formal for this. Oh no. Don't worry, I got us coming. Quick, put this on. Thank you, General. <laughs> hey, Mez. Yes. On. What do you call a quality Channel 31 camera operator? What? As if. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Colonel. What's the award we're giving out today? I think it's for best camera work. And the nominees are... Best camera work. Let's go bird watching. Every bird watcher needs a field guide. Making the switch. What should you do with your old fridge when it gives up the ghost? The Gowan Ballistic Snowboard Show. Showcasing the best of the talent that both countries have to offer. 
gasoline. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll find out what it can do. Mystical guides wanted Australia. And they, I told you it was on the show. It's going nuts. And the winner is... The Going Ballistic Snowboarding Show. Plenty more fructus action coming up. Yesterday the wall was so soft and kinked and they made it perfect. The pipe was so good to that. Um, wow. Um, I'm kind of jet lagged right now. I got off a flight from the States at about midday, so. Uh, just like to thank Channel 31 for the great opportunity to put our show on air. I'd like to thank Steve Watts, he's the man. He's like supported our show from day one for the last three years. And I'd like to thank my uh, co-filmer, Rich Edwards. He's been with me all the way. He's done the last three years of the show. He's the man. And our hosts and everyone, you're the best. Thanks. Thanks, Mick and Mears. What's that? You want more awards? Well, we better get more presenters on stage. From the comic box, it's CJ Jenkins. And from the movie world, it's writer, producer, and cinematographer, David Parker. Hi there. So, David, you've produced a lot of great Aussie films like Malcolm, The Big Steel, and Amy. Got anything in the works that uh, might involve a part curry chick with red hair and a walking stick? <laughs> Actually, I have, CJ. It's called Community Television, the blockbuster movie with a big, big budget. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um, what I'd, uh, what I'd like to uh, say about that particular movie, as he makes it up on the spot, <laughs> is uh, that it's about diversity and it's about positive community involvement in community television. Sounds like it'll be a big hit. Yay, the nominees for Best Special... Sorry. Ooh, best Special One-Off Presentation are... Best Special Presentation. The Gascoigne Dash. I really looking forward to a sort of uh, a challenge like this. Making monsters. King Kong was actually just a, a 18 inch tall stop motion puppet. Mystical guides. Please give us a sign of your presence. Give us a noise. The Manbrook Footy Show Grand Final Show. Yeah, interesting case between those two teams. The Union Show. You want a fair go for your children when they start their first job. And the winner is Making Monsters. Over the following hour, we'll be taking you into the world of movie animatronics. Taking you through the process from rough sketch to the finished puppet will be John Cox of John Cox Creature Shop, fabrication designer Alan Murphy, and puppeteer Ian Tregoning. This one, I'd like to congratulate all the volunteers that worked tirelessly at Access 31. This uh, program was made, initiated, executed. Everything was done by Brendan Smith, who was one of our volunteers, who basically just used our home facilities. So thank you very much to Brendan and all Access 31. The next award will be for Best Director. Uh, I know quite a lot about uh, how tough it is to be a director and I really hand it to the directors who've made these extraordinary shows which were quite difficult to judge. And the nominees are... Best Director, Mystical Guides, Stelios Kokotos. My eyes and ears are saying, it is, it is. 20-something, Jess Harris and Josh Schmidt. I'm fucked and just say it. Latin Dance Alive, Sylvia Sawajano. We'll be along to show you how it's done. The Bazura Project, Lee Zachariah. George Lucas is an absolute oh, he is a hat. Penguin TV, Peter Weatherall. She's teaching English. And the winner is... Lee Zachariah for the Bazura Project. Lee! You've got to come back!
back with me. Where? Back to the future. I, uh, thank you. I don't know how to tell you this, but we used up all of our material on the first two awards. So I'm just going to say thank you very much. And well done. Thanks, CJ and David. Now, nothing adds to an awards ceremony quite like a touch of glamour. Forget Hollywood actors, forget rock stars, we've got a federal politician. It's parliamentary secretary to the prime minister. It's the honourable and lovable Anthony Byrne. Thank you. I've, hold, I've uh, heard politicians being called many things, but not lovable recently. So it's great to be amongst a crowd that finds politicians lovable. So thank you very much. Um, George Lukakis, before I walked in here, said to me that tonight would be a night of colour, richness and vibrancy. And George, you weren't wrong. It's been a fantastic night to be here tonight. So congratulations uh, to the organisers of this event. It is spectacular. I'm, I'm here representing the Prime Minister, but also the Minister for Broadband Communications and the Digital Economy. And I know they're very sorry to miss this show tonight, but they'd, also li they'd like me to pass on their regards and also their support for community television. What I've seen here tonight in looking at the array of programs is a slice of Australia. It's a slice of the rich diversity of Australia. And it's basically what I see is Australians being given a voice. And for a long period of time, I think a lot of Australians weren't given a voice. And tonight here I see Australia being given a voice. What I also see is through the richness of the programs that are being put forward, when you slice through to the core, it's the heart of the Australian community. It is community and diversity. So congratulations, because the, as I said, the quality of the programs on often what might be meagre budgets are just spectacular. We've spoken about, and I think a couple of the speakers have talked about spectrum, and they've spoken about uncertainty. And we're referring to the digital era. Well, I can certainly assure you here tonight, with the richness that surrounds me here, that the Australian government, in partnership with the Australian Community Television, will be working together to end the uncertainty in the digital era to make sure that you continue to represent the views and the voices of the Australian community in the future. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Limited Broadcast Spectrum's Night of Nights, the 2008 Antenna Awards. Time to make welcome a special guy. He's bored. He's chairman of the board. No, he's not Iggy Pop. He's chairman of the board of C31. He's Peter Lane. Good evening, everyone, and good evening to all the viewers out there. Uh, tonight, I'm presenting the award for Outstanding Contribution to Community to Television. And that goes to Josie Pirelli for Chart Busting 80s. In a minute, thanks. Uh, this show's been on air for seven years. They've done 148 shows. It included guests like Gene Simmons from KISS, Cindy Lauper, Ross Wilson, Mendels as Anything, and the list goes on. But what was good about this show is that uh, it's the best of community television. It's a new format, new idea, new show, not repeating the old. That's what we can offer. Secondly, it generated a large local audience, but not a specific community audience, a broad local audience at a time when it was critical to the growth of community television to get those broad audiences. It also achieved a feat unique to community television. Their first DVD got a Gold Aria Award. So I'd like to thank Josie and her team. She didn't do it all alone, of course, but Josie did lead the charge. I'd like to thank them for raising the profile of community television, for adding to the understanding of what we have to offer, and for showing us that we're not just like all the others. So I'd like to say welcome, please, Josie Pirelli, for this award. <laughs> growing since last season. It's taken you five weeks and we've just got something productive out of you besides sitting there like a chair. <laughs> Woo! Right, Everyone 
and wants a whole lot of Josie. Jeff, good to see you dressed up for the part this evening. What are we doing? Casual beach wear. Good day. Congratulations, Thank you. Good on you. What about well the done. smooch and the lie on the floor, Peter? I feel uh, yeah, Oh, it's so good. It's so good that you actually made the trophy my likeness. It's just fantastic. Thanks very much. All I can say, I've been around for about a thousand years. About bloody time I got one of these! Yeah! Yeah, it's great. I love... Thank you, Peter. It's good when you, your bios, you update them every day. And uh, it's good that Peter said, you know, we're all about the new. I pride myself on the old and tacky. And uh, the 80s, of course, was not old and tacky. It's still very, very current to me. I am waiting for the love of my life, George Michael. <laughs> why are you laughing, bastards? Now I know why this became a pre-record. Now, Belvedere, who's used to working with Bert Newton, if you thought working with Bert was tough, you ever met the queen, this queen over here? So, uh, this is why the show became pre-record. Greg D went, mate, 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 Pirelli's on the microphone. Bloody hell, let's do pre-record this year, Simon. You already gave me a swear jar with money in it. I think it's about $4.20, so thanks very much, Greg. I've got to thank C31 Melbourne for giving me a start back in 2000. That was about, there was about six shows then. And of course, I became show number six, and we had so much of fish cam that every time I used to ring up for sponsorship, I'd go, hi, look, I'm doing a new show on Channel 31. Oh, the fish station. Boop, boop, boop. And it's good. It's good to see that now people actually pride themselves on knowing that this is the fish station. But I have to also thank all the other Channel 31s, except for the one in Perth, because my parents think I read the news. So, uh, yeah, so fantastic. Thanks very much to that. Belvedere, now go away. You know, you're going to wind me up anytime soon. Woo! Yeah. Damn friggin' straight. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to thank RMI TV, who back in 2000 had no idea who I was. Oh, yeah, I want to do an 80s show. Oh, we're into house over here. Yeah, great stuff. Also, I have to thank the wonderful crew. I think I've worked with about three quarters of the people in the room, and it's good to see them all doing really well now. We've got Rasso, I think, doing camera. Sarah's doing directing. We've got Brendan, who did all the chandeliers. We've got Nicholas doing the graphics. All came from CB80s, ladies and gentlemen. I think even Amy Parks at some stage work, and Corinne Grant, I think everyone worked on CB80s at some stage around here, so thank you very much. I have to thank Greg D. Greg D met me as a feisty, as a feisty 23 year old, where my show was gonna be shafted to a Tuesday night. And I was uh, being told, oh yeah, don't worry, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, that's the, that's the peak time. And I went to Greg D and went, he went, hi, I'm Greg D, I said, I don't care who you are, I don't care, well, he said, I've just been here for two days. I said, my name is Josie, I was Josie then. My name is Josie Pirelli, hi, microphone. My name is Josie Pirelli, and I want my show on Saturday night, otherwise you can get stuffed. Two hours later, the phone call, mate, 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 somehow Saturday night's become available. So we, so we ended up being on Saturday nights and Thursday night live, so I have to thank everyone who's contributed, and most of all, I have to thank the CB80s fans, for without them, we wouldn't have lasted for as long as what we've lasted. So thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. It's sharp busting, Joycey Pirelli. And now our next presenters, two shining beacons of community television. From the shtick, it's Henry Greener, and from C News, it's Enika Duncan. After Josie Pirelli, we'll have to make this really quick. So, Inika, Inika and I are honoured tonight to be presenting the Viewer's Choice Award, which is decided by you, the viewer. And That's right. Ordinarily, we would have a representative from, let me just make sure, PKF Accountants, who ensures that the... <laughs> no, not me. I've done my tax. I think I have. Anyway, moving on. To ensure that the... To ensure that everything is in order, there hasn't been any rigging, maybe a little bit of dredging, mm. but okay, moving on from anything that's political, C News update. We've also got shtick as well. We should make sure, we'll get to the point, that the, that the award, 
<laughs> that the award actually goes to the correct winner. But unfortunately, our representatives have been sent to Zimbabwe to help work out the election results there, which are apparently still in dispute. That's right. So you'll have to trust us. OK, anyway, let's get on with it. Where's the award? The winner. Oh, right. OK, pass it to me. Oh, now we're going to fight over this one. Four-wheel drive. TV. TV. No more pussyfooting around. It is absolutely time to get hardcore here on Four Wheel Drive TV. Uh, unfortunately, Simon and Miranda couldn't be here. They are currently filming up in Queensland. So they asked me to tell everyone that I'm their favourite. Uh, no, seriously, uh, this award goes to so many people. Um, it goes to a, a massive team, to Adam, uh, to Tom, to Ryan, um, to so many volunteers across Australia uh, and New Zealand that uh, put in so much time and effort uh, we really appreciate everyone's hard work. Um, I'd like to thank the sponsors. Without their support, there'd be no TV show. Um, and of course, thank you so much to everyone that tunes in and watches the show. Uh, it's, uh, it feels really good to know that all our hard work, I think, is, you know, pays off and that people appreciate everything that we do. So thank you. Nice work there. And now we've got two people who've made it to commercial television. They started off on Channel 31. We've got Channel 9's own news reporter, Amy Parks, and Corrie own comedian, Corinne Grant. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you. It's lovely to be here. Um, fantastic as it is. This is my first time on the antenna stage. And I'm actually presenting an award tonight that I was never nominated for. Aww. For the 4,000 shows I actually did on Channel 31, never nominated for Best Female Presenter. Love when I Channel was Channel 9 got it wrong. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> when I was working here, there wasn't even an award ceremony, I don't think. When that little cute blue thing was up, the little girl in the blue outfit, I think she was born after I was on <laughs> Channel 31. <laughs> so I'm feeling about 105 tonight. <laughs> it's great. Uh, it's very good to see that there are state and federal ministers in the room taking the message out. I'm sure that they've seen tonight what a wonderful and necessary and diverse uh, station Channel 31 is. Community television in, in its broadest terms need to be supported by our state and federal governments all the way up to ensuring that we definitely do have a digital channel when the conversion happens. <laughs> To the nominees for Best Female Presenter, we should say that there's an, such an amazing pool of talent here um, in this room, and you're very, very lucky to work uh, in the company that you do work in, and we're lucky to be here tonight as well. So, congratulations yes. to you all. Yay. All right, all so right, let's go. Let's do it. The nominees for Best Female Presenter for 2008 are Best Female Presenter, Breakfast Show, Emma Race. I'm a good yeah, morning person, I think you're struggling with it. Come here. Kids Life, Malia Simpson. Or explore the kids sized house with old fashioned appliances. The Italian Guide, Jodie Raquel. Very, this is the countdown, we're, we're about to begin. The Go and Ballistic Snowboarding Show, Natasha Ferry. Girls got equal prize money, Absolutely. way to go. Latin Dance Alive, Yvonne Goldsmith. And then you'll be able to get in on the action. So, no hesitation, let's uh, announce the winner. This is all very exciting. Oh, that's your name and my name. Okay. <laughs> it's all happening. Emma Race, The Breakfast Show! Well done. Check out those guns! <laughs> we look like we came from the West. Yeah. Yeah. Look, turn over to us. I love that Axl Rose dance. Oh. He does the... <laughs> <It's like>. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
First Lady, thanks very much. Um, you're right, there is an amazing um, breadth of talent here. Have we got an audio problem or is it just me? Um, so I can't believe that I was nominated in the category with some amazing women, but I'd also just like to say I get inspired by Stella Young, Namilla Benson, Lisa Corduff, and um, thank God there's real women on a TV station somewhere in this country. Um, <laughs> Award specifically, um, I need to thank Greg D um, because you know you are the wind beneath my wings, and um, <laughs> thanks for getting me back on Channel 31, dusting me off and bringing me back out of the shelf. Um, but mostly, I need to thank the cast and crew, and especially my co-hosts. I've got to say, I've gone through a lot of them, um, <laughs> but I'm only half a woman without Dave Thornton, Dan Ziffer, Justin Kennedy, Richard Marsland. The hockey show boys, I can see you over there. Um, and uh, Declan Fade, did I miss anyone? I don't think so. I'll probably work with someone here soon if I did miss you. Anyway, thanks very much for the award, it means a lot to me. And when she said she'd gone through them, she means on a professional level. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Now, I know we've had technical stuff ups, but Amy, I'm sure you will agree with me. This was the thing that makes us the professionals we are today. Working at Channel 31 and learning how to work on the fly means that you're prepared for the, for the rest of the commercial world when you get out into it. And I'm, I'm not being facetious, I really mean that. When you get into the commercial world, they really just, just go, there you go, there's a camera, off you go. And if I hadn't had all the work I'd done on Channel 31 first, I'd be rooted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to announce the uh, best male presenter. All right. Best male presenter. The Union Show, Phil Cleary. We'll bring you all the action as it unfolds. Signpost, Todd Wright. Why not repair deaf genes and fix deaf people so they can hear? A Life in Crime, Michael Kazilny. Must have been a terrifying experience because you haven't been to jail before, have you? Charlie's Kitchen, Charlie Barilla. Now we'll get everything else ready, and then we eat. The Hockey Show, Nick Ball. As the man walks by us with a dog. And the recipient of the best male presenter is... Michael Kadzilny, A Life in Crime. Hi, the show that takes you behind the scenes of the criminal justice system. What triggered the uh, crime spree? Must have been a terrifying experience because you haven't been to jail before, have you? No, I haven't. No, it was all new to me. Crime doesn't pay. Thank you very much, beautiful people. I'm, I'm not the criminal, by the way. I'm the criminal defence lawyer and I, uh, I represent, um, I interview people who've made mistakes, but I absolutely love community TV. It's not about ego, it's not about money, it's about uh, sharing and that's what it's all about. And congratulations to everybody here tonight. I, uh, I'm not one of the young blokes. But uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Life in Crime Melbourne. Well done. Well done, everybody. And thank you, Corinne and Amy. Only a few more things to do. So to help us out, we've got Sylvia Teodor. She's from Fusion Latina. And we've also got Graham Hill. He's head of programming at Channel 7. What a great night, Sylvia, tonight. Oh, it's been wonderful. It's really had lots of fun. Um, so many people from different uh, cultures and uh, walks of life uh, uh, to celebrate um, this hard-working and uh, down-to-earth community television. It's great. You know, really uh, working at the uh, Seven Network, I'm constantly amazed of the quality of programs and production that actually come out of Channel 31. So if you've been nominated tonight or you've won an award, uh, you're in fact all winners and congratulations yes. to you, one yes, and all. Definitely. definitely. <clears throat> the, ro the role of a producer in a community television uh, is very difficult. Uh, you learn to uh, beg, to borrow uh, money, <laughs> to call favours from your friends and family, uh, to sweet talk your sponsors and to actually work long hours 
and uh, motivate your workmates. To, it's all going to be for a, a greater good. Uh, but it's all for the love of the art. It's, we all do it for, because we love it. We really do. Should we, uh, should we thank the producer of tonight's awards, Simon Myers, who's yes, uh, done a fantastic job. Good yes. on you, Simon. Congratulations. Well done, Simon. And then all you have to do, and as a producer, you've all got to get back and do it all again next week. Should, we, should we do the awards? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> uh, the uh, producer of the year awards are... Producer of the year, The Bazura Project, Tim Egan. Everyone, please put on your special glasses, minor prescription. Gasoline, Michael Curzon. Well, it is just stretching like a piece of licorice. It is. Making the Switch, Global Vision Media. We are making the switch! 20 something, Jess Harris. Excuse me, I'm knocked off. Do you want discs? Sugar, get. The Breakfast Show, Emma Race. The smell of fake tan is hanging in the air because it is Brownlow night. Right, Sylvia, open that little baby. Well, let's see. Emma, The Breakfast Show! Well done! That is impressive. Who did I say? I got that for you in a second, Mr. Jamison. What? What? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, wow, thanks for this. I really didn't expect it because um, so many people put this show together. It wasn't just me. I was the one that was always bossing people around. But I really want to thank C31 Melbourne, um, Greg and Laura and Mash and the team, everyone, um, you were just amazing and you supported me the whole way through it. And um, sleep deprivation can sometimes turn you into a bit of a monster. But um, I really enjoyed doing the show. It was um, an amazing team that put their heart and soul into it and I can only thank you for it. Thanks very much for, um, for watching the show, if you in fact watched it. And um, in the words of Bill Medley and Jennifer Warns, I've had the time of my life. Thank you. <laughs> One last antenna, and so two last presenters. Jody Raquel from the Italian Guide and Chris Chapman, CEO of the Australian Communications and Media Authority. Wow, that sounds important. And nice. It is, it's the big one, the highlight. So uh, we're just about there, but congratulations on your own nomination for Best Female Presenter. That's Thank you very terrific. much. Very, and there's lots of talent in the room tonight. It's just overflowing with talent, actually. It's thrilling to be here from Sydney. Well, this is my first time at the awards night, but uh, I have seen it on television before, and every year it seems to get bigger, better. The quality's fantastic, and having spent a few years in television myself, I just know what goes into awards nights like this. And given the budget that these nights work on, this is in a sensational performance by a community broadcasting industry, and congratulations to everyone who's been involved. Absolutely. Absolutely, Chris. The depth of talent out there in the community of people willing to work so hard towards programs that are just... It's so important to bring these programs to television and to the community to see free-to-air good television, which is great. Well, I, I agree. The Australian Communications and Media Authority deals with about 300 community broadcasting licensees every year. We have a particular feel for the the difficulties they go through, and I'm absolutely amazed at the quality. I mean, I was told earlier tonight that uh, Channel 31 in uh, Melbourne alone puts together, or puts every week about a new, another 90 programs to air. And uh, we've talked about diversity, but it's not only diversity in the broad sense, but it's grassroots diversity in the Australian community, and it's just a compliment to everybody involved in that industry. And I'm delighted to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity. It's fantastic to be here. Good. I'm excited. Oh. Okay, well, before we wrap up this fabulous, fantastic, wonderful evening, it's the final award. So let's hear the nominees for Best Program. Best Program. Making the switch. We've got solar panels, water tanks, recycling, everything you could want. The MS Show. 
the stereotype of an old person in a wheelchair isn't correct. The Gowan Ballistic Snowboarding Show. It was my most anticipated event for the year and it turned out to be the biggest. Let's go bird watching. One of the best places to start bird watching is in your very own backyard. Play cool. I'm Charlie, chef extraordinaire. Well, I'll open it and you can read it. How's okay, that? with pleasure. <gasps> Making the switch! Yay! <laughs> so, what's the solution? We should not use our car as much. Worm farm's great, they're really easy to use. They've got a nice crisp life, but they're terrible from an energy point of view. Absolutely amazing and very, very overwhelming because, as everyone's been saying tonight, there is so much talent in this room and you're presenting awards to people who used to make commercials, got an honours degree in international relations. So, um, making this program, you're much more well equipped to handle things. Um, but this, this show really started over a conversation where we realised that, well, as a journalist, I wasn't getting the information that I needed about how to live more sustainably. I was sick of hearing about the last tigers in Africa and all those sorts of terrible things. So we thought, let's tell stories, positive stories about everything great that's actually happening out there. And we thought, I wonder whether we'll have enough stories to fill programs. 26 back-to-back -back, half an hour episodes later, we realised there was a massive breadth of information out there, so many positive stories to tell, but we worked our asses off. And Nadia was my sidekick. I still don't know what a producer does because we just did everything. Um, and my beautiful crew, Darts, we call him Darts, and Chris Pollard, who just worked so, so hard, um, like everyone in this room really does. Um, but it wouldn't have happened if Phil didn't let me do it. So Phil Chubb, who is a visionary and thinks about things that are going to be needed and puts it out there. And we're still waiting for the networks to realise what a great idea it is and how much everyone wants to watch it. Um, anyway, um, thank you so much, Channel 31. I'll always be grateful for giving me a go on C News in the beginning. And I'm doing a bit of a Josie right now, aren't I? Um, <laughs> Um, my wonderful partner and my lovely family, everyone who stood by us when we were all looking like this. Still, yeah. looking, like Still looking like that. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything, but um, on, on behalf of Making the Switch, thank you for this award. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Well done. Well, there's only two things left to do at the Antenna Awards, and one involves dancing. Firstly, thanks to everyone at the Antennas, presenters, winners, well done, cast, crew. But especially, thank you to you, the viewer, because without you watching, none of this works. And now, last thing to do. It's time to dance your extremities off to Nikki Bomber and the Melbourne Scar Orchestra. <laughs> Sitting down, ladies and gentlemen. I know you've been all sitting down. We're going to energise you for a second. Give it like this. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. That's not good enough. I say. I say. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. Channel 31. Channel 31. No, no. Channel 31. Channel 31. I say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Put up the harmonica, son. Here we go. Jump it up. Shrimp it up, uh. All my people, all my people, all my say, oh yeah. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Two, two. Uh, time you straight and right out. Better think of your future, else you'll wind up in jail again. Ah, Rudy, chill. It's a message to you, Rudy. Chill. It's a message to you. Hey. Yeah. 
gonna get the information you need. I said, The 2008 antennas were proudly brought to you by Victoria, the place to be. The City of Melbourne, Shannon's and C31.